Good morning, traders. Welcome to the Bookmap Live Order Flow Advanced Analysis Webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Uh, risk disclaimer trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. Okay, so uh, today we have a lot of guests in the room, so welcome uh, from the uh, previous webinar. Uh, and um, what we do in this uh, advanced webinar is look directly at the order flow and go through as many examples as we can. It supports our educational process. Uh, there's an educational course, uh, but this uh, webinar goes through the same content, but in the live market. Uh, and then we ana analyze the, what we see in the order flow on all time frames, uh, and then start to look uh, or anticipate where price might go based on our analysis. All right, so uh, we usually, usually jump right in and we go for uh, about an hour or so uh, and really get into the details here. All right, so anyway, let's um, uh, step back here. We always take a, a, a bigger picture approach and see what's going on. Uh, and uh, we'll start here. I guess I've been doing this regularly here uh, just because the daily chart has been in such a good play here. Um, uh, daily chart uh, just getting up here and starting to test some of these this the 7700 figure up here uh, and uh, just shy of it but still I mean bullish activity yesterday and uh, back and forth today so uh, we might we might uh, see it uh, uh, test up into that area the big question is the acceptance or rejection above 77 and we all know what we're looking for up there we're looking for a lot of volume for this to push through to close above it on strong volume all right, that's uh, what we look for even uh, in uh, uh, microstructural areas. Okay, same thing, right? So you'll see that we're using actually the same uh, concepts here on much higher time frames, uh, all the way down to uh, you know very very low subsecond time frames as well. It's all very very similar stuff. Uh, the concepts hold true. Okay, it's uh, it's it's understanding the order flow. Uh, so uh, let's look at our half hour chart here because that's uh, some good stuff. All right, so uh, here's our 9.30 open, okay, back and forth. But uh, our levels here, uh, you know, uh, looking right off this area down here makes good sense. I could have seen it come down a little bit more, maybe uh, around this kind of uh, 76.08 area. It doesn't. Uh, bulls come back in and uh, pushing it here to the upside. Just spiked above this little swing here. Uh, from uh, 4.30 uh, a.m. Eastern time here. So uh, it did not accept above it. So uh, we can see some wicks and some selling starting to come in here. And the next level, if the bulls continue, uh, looks pretty good up here, okay, around 74. Anyway, let's jump into the order flow. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, I also want to go over some, uh, some trade activities. Uh, so, uh, <coughs> yeah, I'll take a look at the uh, and share with you some Twitter. Uh, uh, trades from yesterday, uh, as well as uh, some from uh, this morning. And let's add our indicators back on here. Okay, good. All right, bullish, bullish behavior continues here. Okay, I don't know how much I like that actually. Um, uh, it's, it's bullish, but uh, you know, we're looking at the break here. And we, we're looking at it needs to accept above that on, on strong volume. The volume's here, uh, but the, the move here is only about, uh, it's about two points or so. So that means we can we can see the sellers come right back in here, back into the range, and try to drive it down to the other side of this range. All right, so uh, be, be attentive of that because uh, we're looking at our higher time frame here for the day. Uh, to see if we get follow through uh, uh, through the, on this breakout here, okay, just uh, breaking it and coming back into the range like just like we did here. So hands off right now. I mean, we might see the buyers come in again, okay, uh, and uh, we may see them uh, uh, lift that offer pretty aggressively here. Okay, see they're actually pulling at 66. Let's see if the buyers can step in. Here they go. See a little bit more than that. Yeah, it looks good. All right, looking for 68 here. Let's see them uh, try to raise this up into 68. No. Sellers coming back in. Okay, one more rotation. Let's see them come back up here to 65. Looking for some volume. All right, now let's get up to 68. Should see it. It's looking pretty good. Let's try in. Okay. 
No, another rotation. All right, let's see if we can get one more rotation back over. The volume's looking good, so I'm still looking for it. All right, let's see the push now. Uh, it's looking good. I mean, come on, guys. Let's let's uh, let's see this uh, one more. <laughs> Keeps the, this is more like S and P. We've seen this the uh, uh, several uh, several times the last few days here. Actually, starting to exhaust out a little bit, but still the pressure is up here. All right, here we go. Here's the rotation. So you, see, you can see we rotate back and forth here, but we, we still had the um, uh, benefit here of uh, more volume at higher highs, okay? And it still looks good. Okay, I'm still looking for 68. Okay, and 68 is even stepping it up here. There's even more liquidity up here now. Uh, and uh, uh, we'll see. I mean, uh, still more and more here. More and more volume at higher highs. Kind of tricky. And it's still still holding true though, right? Okay, if we did not see high, more volume up here in some of these areas, we would not think the same way. Okay, now it's starting to exhaust out here. Okay, and we will we will find sellers try to rotate this down again, but uh, it still still looks pretty pretty good here. Yeah, 68 looks looks good. Let's let's see them. Let's see they get these sellers upside down and get them to cover quickly. Uh, Jerry, uh, you know I saw your comment just before the uh, the webinar ended. Uh, so uh, uh, you know, nice <laughs> nice to hear. I mean, you've been you've been trading for quite a while. Uh, so um, uh, you know, seeing something like this, you've never seen quite uh, uh, like it. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, you know, this is. Uh, uh, something unique, you know, something new here, uh, and um, uh, that's uh, you know what we're offering here is very, very different than uh, what uh, we're accustomed to looking at, right? And we can see all the details here, uh, so um, uh, you can simplify the details as well uh, through the uh, through the, uh, you know some of the settings on the heat map, for example, uh, or the or the volume dots. You can you can also filter out the volume dots. Uh, you can uh, you know make this. Uh, uh, chart settings here for that heat map, um, you know, much more stark uh, or, you know, uh, much more uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, or just much more data or information on it as well. Okay. I, I like it somewhere in between there uh, and uh, just looking for the insights that it can give me. All right. Still looking, still looks good here. 68, 68 is pulling now too. So let's see if we can get up through even more, 70, 74. Okay, there we go, 68 is trading. There's 70, let's see it go up to 74. It's looking good, strong, strong move. All right, so does that meet our criteria as well from 67 on up to 70? It's, it's good, I mean, it's strong. Look at the volume, okay, we have the volume dots, okay. Uh, we have a uh, uh, CVD. We have volume in the in the in the um, uh, volume bars here. Now that said, we want to be careful uh, because when we get up into these areas here, we want to see if they're starting to absorb all, all of this uh, uh, pressure. Okay, so for example, uh, did these guys trade here? Yes. Okay, mostly, uh, and uh, up here they actually pulled. Okay, so uh, uh, we can we can still we're not seeing it it being totally absorbed yet. Okay. We'll start to note that though, right? Uh, where where are these uh, you know players here that are on the uh, on the offer? Where are they starting to get filled? Right? When we start to see a lot of absorption, that is one of the first things that we want to look at here for the potential for a reversal. Okay. Then we're looking for uh, these dots here not to be so strong anymore. Okay, because they've been they're being absorbed along the way up, so all that buying pressure. Well, there's less buyers, okay? and then at a certain point you're going to find sellers, and and uh, well before that uh, you'll you'll find that they'll we'll come up here and we'll test these areas and no one no one's there any longer. Just like this right now, just like this. Okay, so we're exhausting out. Look at the buyers up at the at the high here, here, and here. Okay, so sellers come right back in and they uh, they um, uh, move it back down. Now that was a you know another rotation here. Okay, 
Okay, so buyers are back in, but we're this is looking a little different uh, than it did before. Right? Okay, actually, it's not still not so bad. You still see buyers here. Okay, anyway, uh, those are the steps to look for here. Uh, going into areas of high liquidity, seeing it uh, absorb, they stay in the book. See how they're pulling again at 74 there. So let's try to see the buyers go up to 75. See how they're pulling at 75. So where's it got to go uh, to meet uh, the uh, high liquidity here? And it's got to go up here further, okay, 77, 78 now. And what about 77? Did they trade? Yes, okay. We're finding the sellers now, okay. This is the first step. All right, anyway, we're seeing some good price action. That's why I'm covering this now. I still want to go over some of these trades uh, so that you guys, uh, this is what we've been doing uh, just recently uh, so that uh, you can understand not only uh, the order flow and uh, analyze it and then anticipate future price movement, but uh, to uh, also understand you know, precisely how to uh, weave into these uh, uh, for uh, for trades. Okay, so for example, look at our, our potential for that reversal right into this high level. Okay. Uh, we haven't gotten our retest back up here yet, but we see that the, the sellers are starting to come back in. Okay. We started to note things looked a little different, okay. and then they, they picked it up into these areas of high liquidity, and they, they transacted. Okay. So now look at the sellers starting to come in. Right. Uh, let's see if they can get it down a little bit lower here, uh, maybe uh, 67. Uh, that's where the liquidity is. Uh, this is really, really uh, uh, typical. Uh, uh, we always look for this here on some of these reversals as well. Um, that um, uh, look for uh, here's the, the the breakout to the upside, but there's more volume on the sell side right down below where it broke from. Okay, sellers are in control, trying to take this down. Where are we going to find the buyers? Well, we can see them here. You know, and it makes really good sense that they're down here. This is where it broke from last time. We actually see a retest here. And then here they are again, all right, uh, at uh, 67 or so. And so we'll see, let's see if the uh, those sellers can meet these guys here and let's see if they have more selling pressure. Maybe they can get it down to 65. Okay, so uh, that's what we want to understand here. This is, uh, this is critical or key. It's not just that we're going to hit these bars, these orange bars and bounce. We want to understand the context between the limit orders here uh, resting uh, on the bid okay, and the sell, the aggressive sellers. Okay. What is that context? And uh, when we put together that context, we really get something. Okay. So for example, look at the context for, for right now. Okay. We didn't even test really into these areas here and we're already starting to find some buyers and they're starting to bid it up a little bit here as you can see. So here's our context. It, first off, it didn't reach these areas. And the buyers are starting to chase a little bit. Okay? And we found some aggressive buyers here. And we found them just again here at 70. Okay, so let's see if we can get up here just a little bit further. Okay, we, wanna, we first want to see this microstructure broken here. Okay, we want to see above 70. Okay, looks pretty good. Let's see them lift the offer now into maybe 72. Or maybe where we broke from up here are kind of 73 and 3 quarters. Okay. putting together that context of the auction and the aggressor, right? This is what, uh, because this is dynamic. Uh, it's, it's uh, as uh, um, uh, Jerry was saying, organic, right? But we're understanding this context. Okay? It's an auction. Think of it very simply as an auction and that context between uh, the buyers and sellers, right? And that's the insight that you can get here. Uh, so uh, we're starting to find some of those buyers starting to come back. And let's see if we can retest back up into, uh, yeah, I, I still kind of like this uh, uh, 73 area here, 73 and three quarters. Okay, the liquidity is up here a little bit higher though. Anyway, and there's our test, right? Okay, just a 73 there. Anyway, let's, uh, you know, uh, we're seeing some pretty good stuff here, I, but I, I want to go through some of those trades. So, um, uh, just uh, some things that I did earlier today, uh, and um, not the greatest trading, uh, but uh, still, I uh, just want to show you uh, what uh, what my activity was here. 
All right. All right, so I saw at the open here, um, uh, the move here uh, to the downside, okay, the strong move. We're always looking for the strong move. Uh, and uh, who's in control? Well, sellers are clearly in control as they cut through all of this high liquidity here and then quite a bit further, right? So um, I'm looking for pullbacks here. Uh, and uh, I, I uh, entered uh, down here on the short side. Uh, why? Okay, let's go through my reasoning here. Uh, I looked at this cluster here, right? And actually, uh, I should have probably put it up a little bit higher because we already tested it here, okay? And this is my sell order right here, okay? My limit sell, right? And this is where I got filled, okay? With that, with that purple triangle right here, okay? So anyway, it went immediately against me, uh, as you can see, about a point and a half or so, uh, maybe two points. Uh, and then... Um, uh, back up to this cluster here, but my initial cluster, I was looking for uh, these those uh, sellers to uh, to come back in here. Okay, now it went sideways for a bit, but it stayed below this area, right? My stop is up here, as you can see, uh, and I kept it there. Once it started to go my direction, I moved my stop down aggressively. Okay, so I moved it down into uh, just uh, uh, a break even plus a few few ticks or so, right? I'm looking for the bigger move here in the follow through. Right, because the strong move was to the downside, okay? Uh, and, uh, I, you know, we can see it very clearly. Uh, we see the pullbacks here. Uh, and then, uh, I, you know, I got in way down here, but uh, still I'm looking for the follow through. Now, we, we traded in this high liquidity here uh, and then we reversed out of it. Now, this wasn't uh, uh, really a level here. I was too interested on the higher time frame, So I just moved my stop down, okay, and I got taken out. So this is basically a break even trade. Right? But you can see my reasoning uh, and how I'm reading the order flow and acting uh, uh, with it here, okay? And I'm trying to let this run, all right? Now, I also noticed, okay, after that, uh, wow, okay, buyers above our little area here, uh, taking control, right? So um, let's see here as, I, as we go through, okay? All right, no, I'm, I'm sorry, not this example. Um, so we get kind of a, another retest back down here, and then I started to note that the uh, the buying really started to pick up again, okay, above this little area right here, okay, the, this uh, this zone here around 28, right? So what did I do? I, I uh, was looking for a pullback, okay? So I put a limit order in here, and I didn't get filled, and the market just took off uh, without me. Okay, so uh, anyway, that was uh, uh, what I did today. Uh, you know, nothing to, too fruitful today. Uh, we can go over uh, some things yesterday, okay? And we'll go to our Twitter page for that. Uh, and uh, let's take a look at this one here, okay? So uh, uh, this is uh, from uh, bookmap.com. Actually, uh, you know, I'll, I'll click on um, uh, my, this is this is my Twitter uh, account here. Um, I, I'm actually gonna change the name here pretty quickly, but, uh, 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 anyway, uh, let's just go through some of these examples here. Uh, in the uh, NASDAQ E-mini, uh, and then I also have one for crude oil. Okay, so let's click on this, all right? And uh, let's actually open this in, new tab. All right, there we go. Okay, at the close, okay, at uh, uh, 3.50, uh, we saw the move to the downside way outside uh, of, um, uh, you know, kind of recent value. And we saw the flush through, okay? Very, very high volume, very quick uh, sell volume, uh, flush through, make a new low here. Uh, but then uh, I'm looking for uh, a move outside of the range, and I'm looking for the move back into the range here. And I, I want to see, just like I was looking at, we were just looking at earlier uh, in book map, okay? These guys down here, same, same move, right? Uh, basically, uh, outside of this range, back into the range, and then the follow through to the upside. Okay, this is on a higher, you know, higher time frame. Uh, looking at uh, or you know more volume, even even looks better here. Uh, quick flush through, right back in. Buyers starting to step in. I jump in aggressively. Uh, market buys. Okay, I get kind of. Uh, uh, you know, filled along the way here. Uh, and then a uh, nice little pullback here. Now I didn't even have a stop here, but if it went down below this area here, this vol volume cluster here, 
Okay, that's where I'm looking to exit. Right? I'm I'm not going to have this go against me. I'm looking for this to follow through. Right? Now it did follow through. Uh, and then I entered again up here. Okay? Why did I enter up here? Because again, we see the breakout on strong volume. I'm looking for the pullback and look at the bid. Look at them bidding up in these areas here. Okay, now we're very close to the to the close. Okay, five minutes away from the close or four minutes away from the close. I'm looking for this to return though to the point of control, which is this blue line up here. And I front ran it here. All right, that's where I took my profit. Okay, so very quick trade, uh, but uh, you know, pre pretty nice trade. Uh, I added into it as well. Okay, and I and I was you know uh, uh, looking to. Uh, I didn't have a stop, uh, you know, so I should have, uh, but uh, uh, I, I was looking to just, uh, you know, flatten it very, very quickly. Uh, these these moves are, you know, happen pretty quickly, so I, I was just going to uh, flatten it if it started to go against me. Uh, but um, uh, full scale out uh, up here uh, and uh, right before front running this high liquidity here, um, or the POC, I should say, at 68. All right, so that's, uh, that's one trade. Uh, one more. Uh, just because I want to show you some of the trade management here. Um, and uh, because I wasn't so keen on this one, uh, but uh, it was working. Okay, again, here's here's this kind of line here that I, I drew. drew. Uh, we see the, uh, the sellers take control below it. I'm looking for a pullback uh, to it, okay? I get in up here uh, short. Uh, you can see my stop, uh, I had bracketed trade on here. Uh, so you can see my uh, my stop uh, up here. I moved it down immediately, uh, and then I actually uh, moved my uh, take profit up immediately to uh, uh, Mrs. Crude Oil. Okay, I moved it up. I'm looking for mean mean reversion. Okay, first off, and then I saw prices coming down toward it, and I'm thinking, well, you know, I I, I bet that the uh, we can find the uh, 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 sellers uh, take it through uh, the the mean here. Okay, and try to get to the other side of the range. And then I'm looking for follow through to the downside, right? So uh, they, we did, I did get that follow through to the downside. In fact, I even added in to this trade looking, uh, if it can go through the uh, point of control here and the VWAP, it's just the white line. If it can go through here, uh, I'm looking for this to continue even lower, right? Uh, but I'm not willing uh, to, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, take the, uh, uh, you know, uh, a, a loss on this. Uh, so I, I scaled out a half the position here, okay, at kind of a bottom of this range here. Uh, you can even see, like, uh, I was looking at this uh, profile here. So I'm kind of front running a little bit of it, right, looking to get out some here, uh, moving my stop down very, very aggressively, okay. It was a uh, uh, break even would probably be somewhere around here. Uh, I moved it even down below that, um, so I, I'm I'm just willing not I'm not willing to give this up, right? So I'm looking for follow through. I'm looking for this to continue to the downside. My stop was actually down, or my take profit was down here, front running this liquidity at 7180. These 120 contract contracts here, right? It reversed back up and took me out here, right? So uh, got stopped out, uh, but uh, this was also for for a profit, right? So just want to go through some of the details here. Um, how to start to read this uh, and uh, uh, utilize a, a book map uh, in the live uh, market for trading. Uh, Craig, let's see, can you set up trading a trade using a stop loss and take uh, two? Uh, no, uh, what you can do though instead, and uh, let's see, I think uh, uh, someone had requested to um, uh, show some of the one-click trading, so we'll, let's do that. Okay, so this is how you do it, uh, Craig, is um, uh, you will just, uh, we'll open up the one-click trading here. Okay, uh, everything looks good. I have, a, I have my bracketed orders. Uh, what you'll do instead uh, is you will um, uh, add uh, two orders, okay? So what is the minimum size that you want? Okay, so let's just say it's a one lot, right? We'll set two orders, right? So uh, uh, if I, um, uh, I've got my bracket set up, but uh, uh, let's, uh, you know, let's say I'll be a seller up here for, for a retest of this area here, okay? Ooh, it's coming right up to it. Um, I don't want to get uh, executed here. Oh, we'll, we'll set it away up here and then, okay? So here I have two orders, okay? I, I click twice, 
right? Now you can, let's just move in here. Um, you can, uh, uh, just to the left of it here, you can see that the uh, if I hover over it, uh, I've got a double-sided arrow. I can left-click, hold, and drag these, or I can click on it, left-click on it, and I can change that into two lots, for example. Okay, so everything is recorded here, right? Now I just I just brought it up to um, the other uh, uh, order here, uh, cell order, and uh, now I can hold down Control and I can move both of them at the same time. And you can see there's three lots but two separate orders. All right, so that's how you'd you'd manage this, um, and uh, uh, yeah, maybe maybe just to I'll have to demo this. I think. Um, let's see here, what's going on? Yeah, it's kind of convoluted here. All right, well let's just go sell. Okay, and uh, I'll just uh, I'll sell two, one, two. Okay, so now uh, I can move these down. These are my stops, right? And then here's my take profits. So I can move one up here, okay, bottom of the range, uh, and then one's down below, kind of my runner here, front running this high liquidity down here. Okay, okay, this is just for demo purposes. Okay, this is not uh, you know some sort of uh, uh, you know trade activity here. Uh, just showing you uh, how you can uh, uh, enter here with uh, uh, two. Um, or three or whatever that that's how you'll do it all right and that's that yeah I know that the like ninja trader offers that as well it's, it does the same thing uh, basically okay it's just it's just throwing in multiple orders like that okay all right I'm just move my stop to break even and then we'll get stopped out here no not yet uh, let's see here um, Rick how do you set up your stop and take profit it's here in the um, uh, in the brackets here, 28 ticks and 16 ticks. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get continuation here. There it goes. One. Okay. So one is already hit. I'm already at break even. I'm going to move this stop actually. I want to see. I want to see this behavior here. Okay. They're staying in the book. Right. Okay, but I'm 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 sitting just fine. I am fine for this to come back up and take me out. Uh, I'm looking for this to run. So I want to see if these guys start to pull down here, and they're not. Okay, but let's see if the sellers have enough uh, uh, selling uh, power to trade through that area. And these dots are a little big. Okay. Uh, well, it's it's still, you know, yeah. I should probably be. Uh, I'm looking for the test here. Okay. Uh, but uh, let's see if they, if they pull, uh, then I'm good, and I'll I'll just uh, pull as well. Okay, they're starting to starting to pull down below at least, not not this area though. Okay, all right. So uh, let's see. I'll move my stop down here. All right, and they're starting to trade through, and they're pulling again. I'm going to move my take profit now. Okay, down to here, 57. All right, and I'm going to move my stop down as well uh, to where they just initiated this. Okay, and there I am. Okay, just taken out here at 57. All right, so there you go. Uh, and um, uh, that's a that's a way to uh, uh, you know use multiple orders here uh, and uh, uh, start to understand uh, uh, how to uh, uh, manage some of these positions here and based on the order flow. Right. So uh, it would have been kind of a, a, a mistake here maybe to uh, uh, look at this and, and get, uh, you know, taken out here uh, at this uh, area, front running this high liquidity here, right? Okay, because if they're going to pull, and they actually they didn't really pull, they actually traded. So, uh, but there was more selling pressure going through. And I start to see them pull down below it. I'm pulling too, right? And I'm going to try to let this run. Anyway, um, the... Um, what is important about this, the takeaway from this, is look at my behavior. This is a fantastic way. You can replay, you can record and replay this data. And a lot of traders, they just don't, you know, they don't uh, utilize this feature. It's a really powerful feature here. You can see all of my uh, decisions, every single one, right? Uh, and you can see the time uh, when I made those decisions. 
Okay. So uh, uh, going through this and debriefing your trading, you're going to learn tons uh, just about understanding precisely what you did. Okay. If you if you're following a, a, some sort of a mentor, uh, this is going to be invaluable information uh, for them to go through and say, well, why did you do this? What was your decision uh, for that? Okay. What was your rationale? All right. So anyway, uh, that's. Um, uh, just like I was doing earlier, uh, right? I had my own rationale, okay, for uh, the decisions I made, uh, and then you know nothing really happened, uh, which was uh, you know a pity. Uh, but uh, you know I, I I tried to let it run here, uh, and um, uh, then saw the buyers start to step in, and I'm looking for that pullback, and I didn't get it down here, and it left me hanging, right? Say la vie. Anyway, uh, any questions on that? Okay. If not, uh, we'll, uh, that's the one-click trading uh, that's setting some orders uh, and managing them as well. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back to uh, what's going on here in the price action. Or is there any other uh, instruments you guys want to take a look at? Maybe we want to jump over to that S&P. Or uh, maybe some stocks. I think uh, uh, Tesla's in the news again. Boy, they're they're really been in the news here. Um, the move has been to the upside here. Wow, nice. Uh, Suleiman, I do not have a, a F E F X. Uh, so um, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, I, I know I know you trade the uh, European markets, um, but um, uh, in the European futures okay, and DAX as well. I know you've uh, uh, asked for uh, for DAX. Anyway, uh, the same stuff here. Now, even you know the liquidity heat map here. Uh, for those that are guests, uh, looking at the stocks here, uh, it's even clearer. Uh, look at these these guys. I mean, you can see where they're layering in. On the larger players with their limit orders, and they've they've been here, uh, you know, almost the entire session, or you know, the entire session. Got actually traded through these guys, but it came right back down, hit them again here, and that's been the the you know a kind of resistance area here around uh, 275. And very very simple stuff to see here in the uh, in the equities. All right, a lot of buyers down below here, so you know. All, all this bad news, but here, here's the insight. Look at the buyers. They're all down below, 65 on up to about 70. They're interested, right? So it looks like we're just about to test into uh, 75 here. Yeah, it looks good. See the strong move here? Okay, let's see them test into 75. Let's see them trade through 75. Next area would be 80, okay, up here. Yeah, it looks good. Let's see. Let's see the test here. Looking for it. Strong move. Pull back to uh, kind of big, big volume cluster here. And just shy of it. And this is the high, right? Or no, this is that swing here. Yeah, the, the high is way up here at 77.50. Uh, do I also do the data for the DAX component shares uh, the way you do Tesla? I don't quite understand uh, your question, Suleiman. Um, oh, B like BMW shares. Okay. Uh, no, uh, it, this is only U.S. equities. Okay. Now, the if you're interested in the U.S. equities, it, you you will need the the um, uh, to connect that with a uh, DX feed. Uh, that's the uh, the method. All right. Okay. All right. Well, let's just jump around a little bit here. Uh, take a look at crude oil here just to get an idea. 
Uh, looks like it's to the upside. Yeah, pretty, pretty strong move here. Okay, and looking good too, still looks good. And looking for uh, 73.50 as the target here on that. Okay, this is just bigger picture stuff here, just understanding liquidity and aggressor. And in fact, uh, you know, we can also start to now, you know, introduce some technical lines okay, in some of the trends. Okay, so we, we may actually start to kind of go back and forth here. Uh, but I, I like the volume that I see um, uh, on crude. So I'm, I'm looking forward to testing the 73.50 uh, here. Uh, any idea you can connect Bookmap with uh, European? Oh, there's many, uh, Suleiman. Just ask your broker. Uh, don't know who your broker is, but uh, ask them that uh, you you want uh, uh, access to, uh, uh, you know, Eurex or uh, whatever exchange is, uh, you know, ask if they offer it. That, that's all you need to do. Yeah, there are many traders uh, that uh, use Bookmap for uh, uh, European futures. All right, anyway, still kind of looking to see if we can get a break of that on crude here. It's right to the technical area here, but, uh, uh, you know, this, this just to cover the point here, uh, what we're looking at and... Um, uh, when we draw on the this kind of um, uh, area here is just you know price always trades kind of within a range so kind of a random walk of uh, of range where up here for example in, in this kind of uptrend you know we're, we're seeing that uh, there there are more buyers at higher highs okay but we uh, they kind of exhaust out and we kind of come back down and we go low enough to find some buyers interested to take it back up Okay, this is basic auction market theory of uh, uh, responsive sellers, responsive buyers. We're just looking at it kind of in a horizontal uh, view here. And we're, we're interested in these kinds of moves here uh, as well. Okay, because you can trade these strategies too uh, by uh, the, the range bound uh, stuff. But um, the, um, uh, th you know, the impulsive move, okay, who's in control? Uh, and then looking for that continuation, and this would have played out pretty nicely for you. And look at them bid up here as well, okay? So trading through some of these areas here, and then they're on the bid down here, okay? So, uh, you know, some really good insight here, okay? We have our volume cluster as well, uh, and they're bidding at these areas down here. Or up here, I should say. All right, so... Technically, this is just playing out great. Ah, it also traded into, we didn't, didn't mention that earlier, uh, traded into some high liquidity up here. Okay, that's a lot of contracts for, for crude. Okay, so, um, uh, you know, um, yeah, here, you know, so about 200 or so. Okay, and I know that's both buying and selling, but the majority is, is buying, as you can see. Okay, into that high liquidity here. Okay, 126 contracts is what this represents here. Oh, the delt, these numbers up here uh, you're talking about, this is our iceberg detector. Okay, so for example, uh, up here, you know, you, you can see that there's, we're getting some pretty nice insight with our iceberg uh, detector. This is what you need with the uh, book map. Um, uh, uh, global plus okay that's that's uh, the one you'll need to subscribe to 79 contracts and then 16 contracts uh, we're so we've, we've got you know this is an added confluence here coming up to a technical level number one with this trend or this uh, price channel uh, we have high liquidity up here it trades into it and we also have larger players actually getting filled beforehand and after uh, at lower areas, actually, um, with iceberg uh, orders. Okay, so uh, they don't want to show their liquidity in the heat map um, or in the <coughs> order book. So what they're doing is, um, uh, you know, front running it basically, as you can see. 
uh, and uh, 79 contracts and then 16 contracts that traded uh, here, uh, but the, they, they didn't show in, um, uh, in the book. Okay, where do I identify imbalance? Well, you know, based, based, on, based on this here, okay, uh, and looking for, uh, you know, I was looking for it uh, on the bigger picture, I was looking for that move to 73.50, okay, 10 cents higher. Uh, and uh, it looked good, right? Uh, when we start to zoom in, we can start to see some of the details here. Okay? And now we can start to piece this together, right? So uh, uh, looking for, uh, uh, you know, that continuation. But uh, what, what happens here in crude? Well, the buying looks good up here, but we just, we just don't even get a retest of it yet. Okay? This one's a little trickier to read than, uh, than the NASDAQ. Right, uh, at least from my point of view, uh, we see the quick move here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So if we can get a sell volume down below this little area here, I'm looking for the sellers to come in uh, and then maybe test down to, I like this area right here actually, and it already tested it, okay? Because uh, that's kind of where this, this move to the upside started. So I would be uh, looking for at least this kind of area to test. Okay. Another thing for those guys who are guests here today, um, you know, looking at some of the uh, algorithmic activity here. Okay, so for example, uh, looking at uh, uh, pulled liquidity here. Okay, pulled again, added lower. This is one individual actor most likely doing this activity here because the moment they pull it here, they're adding it lower, one tick lower. Ah, Judy. Okay, so you actually, you're you're looking for 73. Okay. Well, uh, you know, we're at the bottom of the range here. Okay, so uh, uh, you might want to consider, uh, uh, and it's starting to exhaust out here, right? So manage it the way that you you feel fit. Uh, but uh, and we're starting to see some buyers come come rotate in. So uh, you know, however you like, uh, you know, move your stop down, uh, or um, uh, you know, take take some off. Okay, you have whatever the case is. It's up to you, but I, these are my reasons, okay, for uh, managing it that way. All right. Now, especially if I see the buyers start to rotate in above this little area here, and let's say they take this, these guys on here, this hundred hundred and one contracts here, uh, and uh, you see big buy volume uh, trade through that. I'm looking for it to come back up to 73.30, uh, and then maybe it can even rotate all the way back up to uh, 40, and then uh, finally get up to 50. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But, you know, it's up to you. Uh, all sorts of different ways. What's important is just to understand the order flow and the context here. All right, and the context is... Uh, there's 100 contracts up here. One individual actor is holding about uh, probably about 60 of them. Okay, our large lot tracker is this vertical white line here. And we just saw that kind of player here, this, this algorithmic activity here. Uh, we think it's algorithmic. Definitely working it in here uh, algorithmically, no, no question. You can see all sorts of liquidity going back and forth. Okay, uh, Jerry, did I get to your question? Uh, did I answer your question on that? I don't know if that was the the numbers that you were looking at here and the confluences. Yes, okay, good. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, anyway, that's crude uh, and uh, I'm just I'm just curious. Let's see if we um, see if we can get, get uh, a little more. Okay, so, so 73.20. I mean, so you can see how the see the pressure here, and this is the context we want to understand here. So let's just watch this here. Okay. What if the buyers take and trade through? See that high liquidity, 104. Look at how aggressive it is. So now they just traded through it, right? Here come the buyers. Look for a little bit more above this. 
Okay, and so see how they're, they're, they pulled here, they added lower, and they got filled. Okay, so very aggressive behavior here, but they're filled, right? These uh, sellers with their limit orders now, if, the, if we see more buyers start to step in here a little bit higher, looking for the next area to trade. Okay, we have our trend lines, we have all sorts of stuff, right? Uh, so uh, let's see if we can get back up here. The first swing is actually here at 30. Okay, but the, the liquidity is up here at 34. Okay, so let's go through that because this is a, another uh, reason uh, to you really want to understand the uh, liquidity and the heat map, the context of the aggressor here with the uh, the limit orders, these uh, resting orders here. Okay, so we understand that this re these resting orders here, uh, 101 contracts pulled, added lower. Uh, pulled, added lower, uh, and then look at the buyers take them on. Okay, trade into that area here. All right. Okay, did we get follow through? A little bit, starting to. All right, let's see if we can get back up now to uh, 73.34. Okay, and they're starting to pull some as well up here. Uh, they're pulling and adding lower. And they're, they're pulling as well. Anyway, it's a little back and forth here, uh, but uh, looking for that follow through on the buy side now, right? So this little area here gave us insight, right? To the appetite in that context here between those resting orders that got very aggressive here, okay? They're called passive orders, but their, their activity was very aggressive, right? They moved it down very, very aggressively here. Uh, and then uh, the buyers took them on, right? And they started to trade through that area here. Okay, so we're looking for more buyers to join in to the party, okay? And then trade up into 34, uh, and uh, we're at 33 here. Oh, uh, DX feed is is um, is there equivalent to it? Um, no, there's not. Uh, Suleiman. No, it's been requested. Uh, they're working on it, All right? So this is the initial offering for Bookmap for U.S. Equ for equities, okay? And it's just U.S. equities, right? Uh, for those of you who are equities traders, uh, the book is a lot more complex. Uh, there's all sorts of different data providers. Uh, the way it works with DX Feed, uh, just so you know, uh, uh, it's for NASDAQ total view and last sale, uh, or uh, Edge X, which is BATS and CBOE, uh, or both of those together, right? So there's our move uh, in crude, okay? And then look at this nice little flip of the book as well, right? Uh, some kind of wicked stuff here. Uh, let's see if the sellers are interested in, in uh, this area here, these 90 contracts. No, I mean, they're, they pulled. Uh, they're working it back and forth here, but... Uh, uh, kind of wicked here, looking to see if like a, a flip of the book, what I mean here, here's our book sweep, right? Which means they took all the liquidity from all these price levels through 35 up to 37. And then they flip from offer to bid, trying to maybe get it up a little higher up into 40 here, right? Uh, and then they're doing all sorts of stuff here. So uh, a little more, got a little more convoluted after that. All right, but... The buyers are still like in this move so far, you know, uh, there's still more buyers here. Anyway. All right. That was crude. And just uh, glad I kind of went through that just to, so you guys can start to read again that context. Okay? We had also we had reasoning behind what was going on here. Okay. And then we had good insight once those uh, once those uh, uh, buyers uh, took on these uh, uh, these limit orders here and traded through them. We we want to see them trade through though. That's in, that's key, right? Once they started to do that, uh, then uh, uh, we're looking for higher highs, or we're looking for it to to, to retest back up in some of these areas here. All right. Anyway, that's the context uh, and kind of process. Right, and volume starting to pick up again here. Right, so let's see if we can get back up into 45, and then ultimately 50. 50 is the big target here. It's always the big figures. 
Uh, it's where most of the liquidity always is. Anyway, uh, and that, that context is pretty critical to understand. Okay? And that context is, is right in front of us right here. We're bullish still, right? Here's our impulsive move, uh, strong move. The high liquidity is up here. And we're continuing to make higher highs and higher lows, right? So looking for the bigger picture move, 7350. Okay, smaller time frame moves. Uh, we just went through all of that here. All right. Okay, let's jump back to our NASDAQ uh, just for kicks here and uh, see what's happening. Not much, not too much. Kind of glad we went over crude uh, instead. And uh, we'll, we will take a quick look here at uh, the ES and, uh, okay, now I don't have higher time frame data here for the, uh, for the ES, but uh, yeah, bullish move. I mean, uh, still, uh, you know, could be starting to uh, make a reversal pattern here. We're, we, we broke below here uh, and we're starting to see some sell volume, but um, I would still be bullish. Um, uh, let's see that that uh, this 29.20 area here, kind of where we kind of broke out here, uh, looking for that area, and then another area down here at 18. Okay, to see if we accept above those areas, uh, and if we see bullish activity, then looking for it to uh, kind of accept um, above that area and, and test some of these uh, uh, higher highs up here. Okay, if we see more selling and we break down below those areas with more selling, then I'm looking forward to a trade lower. Right, uh, pretty pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, let's see Tesla. Okay, <laughs> didn't get there. Didn't just didn't have enough to get there. It looked really good uh, to test a uh, uh, 275. Right. Uh, this is what exhaustion looks like. No, this looks good here. Actually, this looks great. Like it should have tested it, like uh, on this on this uh, uh, you know uh, kind of uh, retest of the high here at 74.40, uh, just you know 10 cents more. But uh, basically, exhaust out. We get a few more rotations here. Okay. This doesn't look quite as good. This is now starting to uh, starting to fail here. We're not making higher highs. We're making uh, lower highs. And where do we make a lower low here? Well, it it breaks pretty you know, catastrophically here, right? So we don't really have too much insight to uh, lower lows here. Uh, as you can see my uh, my line, all right? So it could have gone both ways all the way up to this point, but then the sellers really come in here uh, and trade some volume down below, test through 73, uh, and then uh, next level would be uh, 72 here. All right, well, let's see if we can get low enough uh, to find uh, more of those uh, those buyers where. Well, we have VWAP already being tested, and then I'd be looking at 71 down here. All right. The high volume note is way down here as well, the POC at 70. So still even bullish above that area. Anyway, uh, that's uh, let's wrap it up here. Uh, went through a lot of different things today uh, and um, I reviewed some trades. Uh, you know, went over debriefing your trading, uh, how to use that one click trading to your advantage, uh, and then uh, lots of different reads with the order flow. All right. So, everybody, please have a good weekend, and we'll catch up with you on Monday. Okay. All right. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Bye bye.